So what I'm gonna show you now are examples of prompts and things in these guys' bios that read as having a more feminine lean to it. And it's important because you might not be aware that the way you're talking about and expressing stuff is actually making women see you as more of a woman or giving the feeling tone of being more feminine than masculine, all right? So I'll go through some of these examples and then get into some more detail. So this person right here, they said, together, we could take romantic walks on the boardwalk or have a glass of wine at a local winery. Now, I want to stress that the things in these prompts, it's not that these activities in and of themselves are feminine and that if you were to get a girlfriend that they wouldn't want to do these things. But there's a difference between the action of doing it and a woman reading these, these things and actions coming from you the guy that she's trying to see as masculine because this is, you know, walks on the beach and drinking wine. That is very much flowery language and activities that more often than not, women would be presenting out there. So a woman's going on an app and seeing you present something that sounds like a woman would present it, she's going to swipe right because if she's looking for a masculine guy, this ain't it. Another one, this person says, I geek out on improving South Asian and minority representation it's one of the reasons I want to teach. And then also vanilla ice cream. Now, when you picture in your head vanilla ice cream, do you picture a muscle-bound guy licking an ice cream cone? Well, guess what? Women don't picture that either. They picture a guy that is in his feminine licking on something that's on a stick. Like, this is another example of if you're not aware of the kind of language you're using, you're going to be using things that you think women want to see, and it's all for naught. Another one, this guy says, a life goal of mine. One day, I'd love to open up a small coffee slash bagel shop. A while ago, I was a barista at a bakery. There's nothing like the smile that comes from freshly baked bread and hot coffee. Now, again, is there inherently anything with wrong as a, as a guy with having a bakery shop or liking to bake? It is not. But when you read this, as a dude, you're watching this, when you read this, what is the feeling tone you get? Do you picture a guy behind a counter lifting up baked, baked bread and putting it on the counter? No, you picture a woman doing that. And it's not to say that's even a gender thing, but the, the reading of it, the wording and language of it, it makes it feel like it's more in the feminine nature. And so to women, when they read this, they're not going to think, oh, a guy that wants to open up a small, and they even look at the words, like the words small, the words freshly baked, like all these things are just flowery words that women are going to see and think, but is he really a, a masculine man? And the answer is no. Now, is that fair? It's not fair at all. But that's, I'm just giving you guys what is going through their head when they're reading these stuff, these things, okay? Another one. Together, we could write silly songs. I love noodling around on the guitar and piano. Silly, noodling. These little cutesy words are going to put you in a cutesy light. But even if a woman finds you cute, she doesn't want to get the impression that you're living your life trying to be a cutesy guy. That does not turn them on in the bedroom. And she's trying to look at your app now thinking, okay, but is this a guy that's going to turn me on in the bedroom or is he going to be trying to noodle with me? And you don't want a woman thinking of you in that light. Another one, I'm looking for someone to plan out vacations and explore new destinations, go out, go on outdoor activities like hiking, tennis, or festivals, share interest and connect on an emotional level. Now let's think about this, right? So here's a guy saying, I want to connect emotionally. And the reason he's saying that is because him, probably like the rest of us, we go on dating apps, we see women profile after profile. I want to meet somebody who's, who's emotionally secure and is able to plan things and can explore and blah, blah, blah. And so we see them saying that. And then we think in our logical guy mind, this is where our logic trips us, up in, trips us up on the dating app, guys. In our logical mind, we think, well, she wants a guy to connect with her on an emotional level. So if I also say, I'm looking for a woman that I can connect with on an emotional level, then she's going to see that and be like, oh, this is the guy that I'm looking for and we'll be able to live happily ever after. Guys, just because she's saying she wants a thing doesn't mean that she wants to see a guy verbally expressing that on a dating app to her, all right? Because the thing for women is that you're trying to say, hey, I'm already also trying to connect on an emotional level. But you saying that means nothing because she's probably had plenty of other guys say that to her, but not actually do that. So what they really, you got to understand, when women are saying, I want to connect with the guy on an emotional level, or I want to walk on the beach, what they're saying is, I want to discover that the guy that I'm going after 
also does those things or also is those things. She doesn't want it spelled out for her. She wants to be able to discover it in the process. So yeah, she wants a guy she can connect with on an emotional level, whatever that means to her. And so when you take her out on a date, you show her a good time, and then she, you start to have a conversation with her and she, you actually listen to her, she'll in her mind think, wow, he's listening to me. He's, he's hearing what I have to say. I think we're con connecting on an emotional level. But she has to experience that. You just trying to tell that to her via your dating app is not going to win you any brownie points. But again, you trying to say, I'm looking for an emotional connection is an example of something that a woman would say. So when she reads it from you, it's just coming off as the way you don't want it to come off, which is this is more of a feminine guy versus this is the guy that I can really like I have the hots for. Uh, let's see, continuing on. This person says together we could... We could lose ourselves in conversation, take long road trips, dance in the middle of Target while picking out the cutest little throw pillow and more. If you can be a little goofy, yet very aware, self-aware self will be a great fit. So again, perfect example of this, right? Hey, I'm a dude. I like being with somebody and dancing with them in the kitchen or dancing with them on a walk or do whatever like that. I like the action of that. And the women like the action of that. But they don't want to hear their guy talking about how I want to dance in the aisles with my secret love. Like, they don't want to read that. Because if they're looking for a masculine guy, that comes across as very feminine. And again, it's not that you don't, you don't end up doing the activity with her at some point. But you're expressing it. I'm, I'm trying to, to express to you guys that just because it, something works as an action doesn't mean it works as a thing she needs to read or see from you because it can give a different impression than you're trying to give, all right? These are things like, these actions are things that you do in person and you'll get the same result of like, oh, she, we, we made a connection because we danced in the rain together. But you saying that on a thing, it's going to make her think, does he just want feminine stuff? Like, because I'm looking for a masculine dude. Like, I know I, I, I like the activity he's talking about, but it feels like it's, it feels weird coming from a dude, you know? Another person here. So I see this a lot on the dating apps where it'll say, are you, are you open to uh, long-term, short-term, whatever? Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, don't answer that question ever, all right? Because the reality is that until you spend time with a woman, you don't actually know what you want with this woman. You're thinking, if I logically say to a person on the dating app, well, I'm open to short-term or I'm open to long-term, but it might change up, that, that's literally dating. But you saying it and spelling it out, it just it gives off a different read than you're anticipating. So this guy said he's open to long term, open to short. And then he says in the paragraph, I am new to the dating game. Pause. Sorry, guys. This is an example of something that women can very much get away with a lot better than men. Because you telling a woman I'm new to the dating game is going to read to her as an I don't know how to handle you. And women want to date men that they feel can get a handle on them and know how to lead the relationship. This expression to her, hey, you know what? I'm new to this, so you're going to have to lead it. And most women don't want that. So even if you're new, great, learn on the job, but don't have to feel the need to express that to a woman that whether you're dating her for the first time or whether you're having sex with her for the first time or you've never had sex before and you want to express it, like, let's just not do that, all right? Because whether you are experienced or not, every new person she dates is a new experience. So whether you've dated 10 girls, great. That doesn't necessarily mean how you treat this one is going to be the same as the last 10 girls, but they don't need that spelled out for them. It does not attract them. All right. Continuing, this guy said, I'll fall for you if you play a musical instrument. I play the drums, bass, and synth. Hopefully you can teach me how to play another one. Pause. We don't do that because women are looking for men to lead them. And so this is one of those things where if you get into a relationship with her and then you realize that she plays something better than you and you say, hey, can you teach me how to do that? Saying that in person totally works. But you saying to her on an app, basically, hey, I need you to lead me by teaching me something. It just it's, it's not a good look. It's not a good read. So there's no sense in doing that. Continuing. This guy said, my simple pleasures, sunset photography, when the song perfectly matches the vibe on a long drive cooking new recipes, and when the MBTA runs on time. So the whole thing about like the word sunset just it should not be used at all by you as a guy in these dating apps, all right? Words like sunset, it's an example of, it's a word that is leaning more towards the feminine. And it's not the worst word in the world, but it does, I'm trying to express to you guys that like, you want to try to present yourself in a way via text that indicates to her that you are leaning more in your masculine. 
If you're doing and picking words that are leaning more towards the feminine, you're going to get worse results on these dating apps. Um, when he says, when the song perfectly matches the vibe on a long drive, again, it's not that that's a bad thing. It's a great action. It's terrible to write down for women to see on your dating app. Continuing, he, another person says, together, we could go thrifting and antiquing. I love the idea of treasure hunting and the possibility of finding some gems. Gems. Thrifting and antiquing is a well-known, like, old lady activity. Now, I'm speaking as a guy that loves going thrifting and, and antiquing. Would I put that on a dating app? I would save that for in person when I can have a conversation, when there's context, when there's feeling tone, or I'm able to say it in a way that still gives her the vibes of this masculine guy is also cool going antiquing, but she's experienced me in a masculine context and frame to where she's not going to be freaked out by, like, but is that me who's doing too much feminine stuff, you know? You have to know how to time these things and when to put things in your bio and when not to. This person said, uh, my simple pleasures, tiny desk concerts, fresh linen, and wiggling my toes. So fresh linen gives what? It's the feeling tone of I'm a guy that likes to do laundry and clean. It's not fair, but suffice to say, that is language that gears more towards the feminine. The word wiggling. Wiggling is a very cutesy word and it's cutesy language that women are better to get away with than men are. So you can't be saying words like wiggly in your dating prompts. If you're doing that, this might be one of the reasons why you're having trouble with women swiping right on you in these apps. This person, this person said together, we could go to the farmer's market, travel, work out, bake, watch movies, ski, and drink wine on the beach. So again, farmer's market, hey, I go to the farmer's market from time to time. It's great. Would I put that as an activity that I want to promote to a woman I'm trying to potentially get with in a dating app? No, I'd say that for in person. Uh, the thing about baking, it's not that baking's a bad activity, but the word bake subconsciously has the image of a female baking in a kitchen. You do not want to give that kind of impression to a woman on a dating app. Uh, drinking wine on the beach, same thing. Women are notorious for wines and brunches out with mimosas. So you saying, I want to sip wine with you on the beach, that's a very feminine image that she's going to have in her head when you are the one presenting it. Another one, this guy. And I like that I covered this guy's face, but the, his, he had his face painted weird. It was, it was awesome. But he said, dating me is like exploring a fascinating and sexy museum. In my gay friend's opinion, why are we putting the opinion of a gay man on a dating app where we're trying to get women? This is not going to give her the impression that you are all the way straight. It's not going to, if you're trying to go for women, that is. It's not going to give the impression that you're not taking the opinion of other dudes on how you look. Like, I know we're in the age where it shouldn't matter about who's judging who and, you know, men can judge other men and not be taken a certain way. All that should be a thing that's realistic, but the reality is women are going to read this and think, oh, God, no. He might be on the down low. He, he likes other guys looking at him in a certain way and is fine with it. Like, I, I know it's 2023 and I should be cool with that, but sorry, guy, swipe left. So you can't have that kind of stuff on the dating app. Uh, this guy, another one said, long-term relationship, open or short. He says, I'm hoping to find my forever person. That is very much flowery woman language. And it's not that it's bad. It's just, who's your market? If your market is women, then women are going to read this and think, is he all the way masculine? And they're going to be out. They just, they just are. And then this guy right here, teach me something about pottery or acrylic painting. Well, once again, you're not on this app to tell women to teach you stuff because you're the guy that's going to be looking like the leader guy that's going to teach her a few things, you know? But more to the point, acrylic, because you're he's thinking acrylic painting, First thing that came to mind was like acrylic nails. So you're going to have women on here thinking, oh, like acrylic nails and painting, like, and he's standing under a thing of flowers. Well, again, this isn't a talking about picture show, but the point is like nothing in this picture right here indicates anything that would make anything remotely look like it's being masculine, you know? So again, you got to ask yourself, guys, what prompts are you putting on these dating apps that could be potentially harming you? This might be another one. Um, I'm convinced that traveling, a sense of humor, and a great personality is a must. Just don't, just please don't be psycho. The psycho part, that's the thing women say. I don't want a guy that's crazy or insane. So leave anything that's judgmental about a woman's state of mind or who she has to be from the state of mind perspective off because it just gives off gossipy vibes and women don't want that either, you know? Oh, and then this guy, this guy says you're using he slash him pronouns. Again, 
It's not the worst thing in the world. And you might just be trying to prove to them that you're considerate of other genders and other, you know, sexual orientations. That's totally fine. But you saying specifically in your app that you're using he, him pronouns, it can come across as that's more of an activity that a woman would do versus a guy. Like as a guy, you don't have to express that in an app. You know, you can say in person, oh yeah, I use he, him if you want to, but that's, that's more of a feminine leaning type situation. All right.